well, if I had to choose a single show, it would have to be Cinderella. In, in a way, it felt like a culmination of everything I'd done before in Networks. I mean, the cast was filled with people I loved spending time with and I had done lots of shows with. The, the script was absolutely hilarious. The, the choreography and the music were stunning. And also, in a way, it was very emotional for me because it was a kind of a farewell to Networks because at the time I knew it was going to be one of the last few shows, definitely the last panto I did. I think one of my favorite ones was Snow White. I think we all had a great time doing that show. And it was really special for me to work with the kids that play the dwarves. Um, then definitely Robin Hood and Sagarelli Cool. Those shows, I think they, they, they had the perfect combination of a great team, amazing songs and lots of choreography. So even though we worked really hard to put them on stage, we were always having fun and, and laughing. One of the shows that I enjoyed the most was I Could Cool, not only because it had amazing music, choreography and costumes, but I think what made that show special was the fact that there were different generations there and the whole vibe in the rehearsals and in the backstage. The best for me, the most special, it, it was um, <clears throat> Robin Hood and the Ava Silver Disc, uh, which was, there was a before and after that. Uh, and then I really appreciated uh, Nick's and Danny's capacity to create, innovate things and their uh, endless imagination and their endless capacity to work. Well. I could say the first one, uh, Around the World in 80 Days. But if I have to talk about one that is special, special for me, it would be Cinderella. Because the cast was great, the show was great. We had, we had so much fun doing it, uh, practicing it. And the public has also had also such uh, a, a great experience seeing it. And that was psychedelic cool, because it was so cool. Uh, it was fun 24-7, uh, the rehearsals, the actual play, everything was great, it was, it was super fun and, uh, and a great group and I, I've, I've got a lot of love to, to that show. The Scarecrow Girl, because I, I, it, it was my first uh, adult show, even if I was a kid, still, um, because I... I for the first time, I felt that people were valuing what I had to contribute with, you know? Um, I felt that someone wanted me to be somewhere else. Like, I was a kid, I, I, I didn't have the age to be in one of the adult shows, but Nick saw something in me that I was actually contributing to, to create something uh, bigger. Robin Hood always comes to mind, so yeah, number one must be Robin Hood. Then uh, I have to name Kinder Transport. Um, it's a completely different genre and for me it was a very touching and moving experience. I learned a lot through, through that story. But the ones I would say have like marked my life and my career are uh, playing the stepsister in uh, in Adventures in Pantoland, which I absolutely love. It was like an amazing experience. It was so fun. It was um, it marked kind of like my line of what what I like in theatre kind of thing. And uh, another one that has clearly marked me and it was like really special was when I played Tiny Tim in A Christmas Carol in the the older group when I was still a kid because like it made me see like um, it made me feel really valued and it made me feel that I um, I was good in theatre <laughs> so yeah those are were really really special shows for me.